What's going on folks, my name is Alex, and on this video, I want to cover a National Guard Reddit post that I interacted with. So the title of the posting is Wearing Issue Uniform While in Sheriff's Department Marked Body Armor. Micro Kayser posted, I'm at work today at the hospital and have a couple of police officers come in in assisting EMTs, nothing out of the ordinary. A few minutes later, their supervisor shows up and has with him a young man in camis wearing a black bulletproof vest. He calls it camis because he's a former active duty Marine Corps individual. So I asked them if they have an MP doing a ride along or something similar. They say no, that it is the guy's son and that he just graduated boot camp. Anyways, the kid comes in and he's wearing a sheriff's department's vest and has his army branch and name tape on front velcro portion of the vest. Is that allowed for him to do in uniform because it kind of piqued my curiosity. I feel if the kid is home on boot leave and not working in any official capacity with the department, he should be in civilian attire if he's on a ride along. But I'm not familiar with the army uniform orders, so I don't actually know if it is allowed or not. Also, I don't know if the kid is active reserve or national guard if that matters. So this is a very interesting question and there are a lot of answers that span from yes he's allowed to no he's not allowed to come in discretion. NCOs, this is what we do. We research because we enforce policy, right? Uh, commanders make policy, Army regulation makes policy, the DOD makes policy, we enforce this policy and we maintain the standards, especially when it comes to uniform. So when soldiers, and I say soldiers in particular, not NCOs, question items like this in a manner of maybe trollish type of response, I'm not really usually worried about it because these individuals don't last long in the military, but in defense, to the perceived troll, I will say that I'm also adamantly against NCOs, not talking about soldiers, NCOs who says that's against policy and make claims like that without referencing the policy and how it applies to that situation. It, it usually comes across as this is what I was taught when I was younger and this is why I'm gonna push forward without actually doing my own research. I found a learning opportunity as with most of my videos. I look something up, I enjoy the content, I learn something new, and then I share that information through the videos. But this was so interesting that I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take the extra step to look beyond the Army regulation to see how else it applies. I'm only going to cover this in that particular situation. So, private, is that's private employment, engaged in, in private employment activities, wearing a vest from the private employer, which says a private employer, which is the sheriff's department, wearing military uniform with the US Army name tape. So now we're talking about the US Army engaging in sheriff department's activity while not on duty. The way that I broke this down is that naturally I'm gonna go to the wear and appearance of the army uniform. By the way, if you ever wanna look up regulations and you're not in the armory or in the government computer, you can always go to the army publishing directorate which has all the military policies. The stuff that's unclassified, meaning not restricted in any way, shape or form. For example, for official use only or any type of caveats, you, sh you should be able to click on the link and it'll download the regulation for you and you can read it for yourself. Other regulations may be restricted uh, distribution such as for official use only, non-foreign, etc., etc., where only members of the US Army or military is able to access. In that case, you'll need a CAC, CAC reader, or just pull it up in the you know, government computer. With that said, the first place I went to is the AR 67-1 that was published 25 May 2017. Chapter three, paragraph seven says, required or prohibited wear of the uniform. Note, this paragraph is punitive with regards to soldier. Violation by soldiers may result in adverse administrative actions and or charges 
under the provision of the Uniform Code of Military Justice. Wearing Army uniform is prohibited in the following circumstances. One, in connection with the furtherance of any political, commercial interest, or when engaged in off-duty civilian employment. So, political, commercial, or civilian employment. Civilian employment, in one way or another. Let's move on. In previous videos, I mentioned that the Army regulation sets the policy and the DAPAM clarifies the policy. For example, AR 67-1 sets the uniform policy. Uh, DAPAM 670-1 talks about how you can wear the uniform. In suit, if you go to chapter four, Combat Uniform Ensemble, it just talks about how specifically you can wear the uniform, but it doesn't set any restrictions or policies. So to get further clarification, I did what I naturally would do and Google the question and see what I turn up. Interestingly enough, March 2008, the Army lawyer, not to be confused with the barracks lawyer, DAPAM 27-50-418, which is a Department of the Army pamphlet, which is the limitations on wearing of the uniform by members of the armed services at non-military events. This is published and was written by Professor and, and Vice Chair of the Judge Advocate General School for the U.S. Army. This is a legitimate military manual in essence, right, to DA PAM. Under what circumstances may a service member wear his or her uniform at non-military events? Or, turning the question around, under what circumstances is the service member prohibited from wearing the uniform at these events? Fortunately, the DOD and the military services have issued considerable guidance on this issue. As is obvious by the title, wearing of the uniform DODI, right, DOD instructions, 1334.01 is a good starting point for judge advocates and service members researching this issue. Paragraph 3.1.2 includes an additional catch-all provision that prohibits the wearing of the uniform during or in connection with furthering political activities, private employment, or commercial interests when an inference of official sponsorship for the activity or interest may be drawn. The important line here is, is prohibited for use on private employment when an inference of official sponsorship for the activity or interest may be drawn. So if you Google the word inference, which derives from the word infer, it states, deduce or conclude something from evidence and reasoning rather than from explicit statement. He didn't have to walk in there and say, I'm here working official capacity of the US Army, but by the act of wearing a sheriff's department's vest with the sheriff's department while wearing an army uniform with the US Army name tape, infers, right, an individual can deduce that or can conclude that he is working on official military capacity with the sheriff's department, which is his dad's private employer. On this pamphlet, it further states that judge advocates must emphasize with commanders and service members alike that the DOD has raised the stakes with regards to wearing the military uniform in non-duty settings. His right along with his father in the sheriff's department is a non-duty setting. Second, service members should refrain from wearing the uniform on any occasion when the wear of the uniform may reasonably be viewed as mili military sanction of the event or activity whether political or not third if the service member is still inclined to wear the uniform obtaining prior approval should be the rule not the exception this write-up on this pamphlet by the judge advocate school basically referenced the DOD directive 1334.1 wearing of the uniform that was published in October 26 2005 states policy it is DOD policy that, so Department of Defense, covers everyone. The wearing of the uniform by members of the armed forces, members of the armed forces, Army, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, Marines, etc., including retired members and members of the reserve components. There are two reserve components. 
in the Army, the Army Reserves and the Army National Guard. The Army National Guard is component two, the Army Reserves is component three. So that's what he's referring to by reserve components, not the Army Reserves. Is prohibited under any of the following circumstances. 3.1.2 says during or in connection with furthering political activity, private employment, or commercial interest when an inference of official sponsorship for the activity or interest may be drawn. The Sheriff Department is not the military. So it, him wearing the US Army name tape with US Army uniform with a Sheriff's vest and also riding along with the Sheriff's Department infers that the US Army is sanctioning or sponsoring the activity that he's engaged in with the Sheriff's Department. However, I want to know what you think. So post in the comments, DM me privately, or go back to the Army Reddit post. Tell me what you think. There are three policies that covers this. My judgment is that if you are not doing military function, we're explicitly required for you to wear your military uniform, you do not wear your military uniform. But tell me what you think. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to your comments. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.